It's a rubber match between the Mets and the Cincinnati Reds, and this one went a lot like most of the Mets games have been going recently. Bloop fly ball is going to drop in front of Nimmo. That's a base hit. That's going to score a run. Kodai the offer on the black, but just a beautiful swing from Nick Senzel is actually having a kind of nice season. Good to see that he might finally be breaking out even if it's three years too late. You see, just good pitch, better piece of hitting by Nick. Got to give it to him. And bases loaded, Kevin Newman just past the outstretched glove of Francisco Lindor. Uh, okay, it's time to drop some statistics on you guys because there's not going to be too many Mets hitting highlights in this one. So enjoy these otherwise highlights from Kodai because he had seven strikeouts besides the five earned runs. Uh, they have lost 13 games out of their last 17. They've scored two runs or less in nine of those games, being shut out seven times out of 38 total games this year. This was their fifth straight series loss. They have not won a series since April 19th, where they beat the Dodgers. Uh, the ninth worst hitting team by weighted runs created plus since this skid of April 22nd. Uh, the third worst ERA in that time as well. Uh, it's been tough for sure. Here's one of their only opportunities. Uh, Lindor ropes went into right field. An absolute bomb from the right fielder to throw out Francisco Alvarez. What a cannon. One hopper gets to the catcher. And he tags him out. The Mets, again, got shut out in this one. I will say, advanced numbers do suggest the Mets could be getting a little bit unlucky. It's also hard to imagine guys like Starling, Marte, Mark Canna are going to be this bad. But it is rough to watch. In comes Kevin Hergit, who had a pretty damn good outing here. He's been good. Uh, fun story if you want to look that up on Kevin Hergit. But he looked really good. Beautiful changeup is going to get Mark Canna swinging and missing. Uh, Buck Showalter... He didn't seem too upset. You know, he thinks that things are going to work themselves out through time, which some Met fans might not be too happy about. But uh, facts are the facts, and this is their schedule coming up in June. They've got the Phillies. They've got the Blue Jays, Braves, the Pirates, a little break there. The Yankees, the Cardinals, the Astros. It is not letting up anytime soon. These are the series they should be winning. So... Uh, what, what do you guys make out of this right here? It's been a really rough time to be a Met fan, uh, but hopefully there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Not to only talk about the Mets, though. Uh, this is the first time in a very long time that the Cincinnati Reds have beaten the Mets in a series at home. And they're currently only four and a half games out of first in the NL Central. So congrats, Reds, I guess.